Okay, so what makes a person prejudiced? Are you prejudiced just for the beliefs that you hold? Or are you prejudiced for the words that you say and express to others? Does being prejudiced only come into effect when you actually influence the real world, whether it's the choices that you make, or what you say to other people, or how you treat other people? Or is being prejudiced like a definitive state, where it doesn't matter how you behave, how you act, how you treat people, it's all about how you feel inside? Like, what if you're aware that you have prejudiced feelings, but because of that, you go out of your way to make sure that you treat people equally? And I don't mean treating people better than other people, I mean everybody equally. You make an effort to make sure everybody gets equal treatment. Are you still being prejudiced? Even though you're not behaving with prejudice, you still have those thoughts in your head. I don't know, maybe I'm just rambling here, but... I'm trying to figure out if the host of a TV show who says racist and sexist and other sort of prejudiced things. Are they prejudiced themselves for sharing this information if they personally don't believe them? I mean, if it's just a paycheck to them and they'll just say whatever they're told to say for money, then are they prejudiced or are they being prejudiced? And there is a difference, like, there's a difference between lying and being a liar. I mean, everybody fucking lies from one point or another, but that doesn't mean that they're a liar. So does sharing prejudice information or ideas make a person prejudice? I don't know. But I do know it can be pretty fucking harmful. But the point of this video isn't to really express how sharing prejudice information can be harmful. It's to debate whether sharing prejudice information makes you prejudice yourself. Even if you don't, might not personally believe it. If you're the host of a show, like a newscaster or anything like that, um, people get an impression of you because that's the only impression they really get of you. Anything that they hear you say, they believe or something that you agree with, even though you might just be there for the money. Like, it's sort of like that kid in the schoolyard who would eat bugs for attention. It's just like, yeah, I'm doing something really shitty, but hey, look at all the intention it's getting me. Why wouldn't I keep doing it? Hey, if I say all these prejudiced things and it gets me a lot of money, why wouldn't I keep saying these prejudiced things? I don't know, it's definitely immoral, but it doesn't necessarily make the person themselves prejudiced, does it? I think the problem here is that there's a difference between somebody that you know is an actor in a movie, like playing a role and doing very bad things, like killing people, saying shitty things, trying to destroy the world, whatever it is they're trying to do. They're just playing a role. And then you have people who actually present, who at least appear to be presenting themselves as themselves. And they're giving you information, and it just seems like something that they genuinely believe themselves, because they're coming off as so personable and not as a character. Basically, what I'm trying to ask here are people like Jameen Warren and Francesca Ramsey, are, are, they, are they prejudiced? Are they racist? Are they sexist? Are they bigoted people? I don't know because I don't know them personally, but I do know the things that they've said on things like PBS Game Show and MTV Decoded. They're pretty fucking racist and sexist. And I don't know, like, I'm trying to give them the benefit of the doubt. I'm trying to think of it like, these are just two normal, regular people who are just fucking doing a job. They're just doing what they're paid for, they don't care what the fuck they say, they'll just say whatever's handed to them. Um, as far as I know, neither of them are the writers, they're just the hosts of the show, so they're basically just the face. So it's not like something with, like, Anita Sarkeesian who fucking writes her own material and then vomits it out on top of people. Like, I genuinely believe that Anita Sarkeesian is prejudiced as fuck, and she genuinely believes everything that she says. But then with people like Jameen Warren and Francisca Ramsey, they're fucking just faces for MTV and PBS. Like, I have no idea whether they fucking believe the shit that they say. And I really hope that they don't. I don't know, like, I really try to give people the benefit of the doubt, but... In Ramsey's case, I know recently she was going through that little bout with Sargon of the Cad, and... I don't know, it did not look... It did not make her look good whatsoever. It just made her look petty and spiteful and... Prejudice. It really made her look prejudiced. Um, she started attacking him with all these misconceptions and these fucking thoughts that she just boiled in her own little cauldron. Cauldron of mind. If you just glance through the things she was saying about him on Twitter, just... Like, I'm pretty sure that she handles her own social media account, right? Like, she doesn't have some MTV executive fucking controlling her Twitter. She... she posts what she believes and what she thinks. 
I don't know, I think that's pretty good evidence that she's fucking prejudiced. And, uh, with Lauren, like... He has me fucking blocked, so I can't even see his tweets. I have no idea what kind of shit he says. As far as I know, he could just be posting cats all day. Then again, for all I know, he could be fucking posting the same shit PBS Game Show talks about. Like, I don't know if they're prejudiced, but there's a whole lot of damning evidence that they are pretty fucking prejudiced. Like, being a racist and being a sexist are not good things. They are not fucking good things. I don't know why these people would fucking strive to be them. That's what it really seems to be in my eyes. They fucking want to be fucking sexist and racist and shit. They get a fucking high off it. Or maybe they get a high off of all the fucking money they get. I mean, it does seem like a pretty lucrative business. Look how fucking popular Donald Trump is. I mean, running for president is probably the only successful thing he's done in his life. I know running for president is a pretty fucking big deal, but not when it's all from just your fucking dad's inheritance money. I mean, if you can just afford to fucking pay your way through anything, then it's not really an achievement, is it? I'm not trying to say that, um, I mean, Warren and Francisca Ramsey and Donald Trump are all on the same side of the same coin. They're, they're on opposite sides of the same coin. But still the same coin nonetheless. The fucking awful prejudice coin. What do you guys think? Do you think that Ramsey and Warren are bigoted TV show hosts? Or are they just fucking there for the money and they don't actually believe the shit they say? I, I would hope it's the latter even though it's not even that great of a position to be in. It's still better than being a prejudiced fuck, right?